Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more NHL 19 Failure Friday. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. Remember, if you guys have any clips, make sure to send them to NHL Failure Friday at Gmail. Dot com. If you guys have any clips for any of the other games I am trying to start Failure Friday for, such as MLB or Madden, check out the links down below in the description to send your clips to. Alright, let's take a look at our first clip. So this guy is just... Oh, I dropped something. This guy is just all over the place. Take a look at this. So he's going to end up laying this guy out. And then after that, he just... Doesn't seem like he really knows where to go. He is stuck. He can't really move, and when he does, he doesn't go very far. It's almost as he's, like, slowly skating away from that one area that he was in. I think this is pretty odd. I don't know if I've seen that before. I've seen them stuck, but don't think I've seen them uh, put as much effort as to getting unstuck as this guy did. So take a look at... I, I really don't think you can get any luckier than this. So this guy is going to end up taking a shot. And look at where the goalie is, and that puck ends up going in. I actually had to cut it up a little bit because it was uh, a pretty long video. So, yeah, I that was definitely very lucky there, that shot. Very well done, though, to have that kind of accuracy, especially from that uh, location. To take a look at this, we have a goalie goal here, but it's not just any goalie goal. So take a look. This guy's working his way around everybody. And he is going to end up taking the shot, right? Seems more like a clear, not quite on net. And there's a goalie there, and he's going to put it right on in. That is a goalie goal on another goalie. How about that? Nice goal there. So this guy is not making his fans uh, very happy. Take a look at this. $162. Fan feedback, terrible. I just thought that was kind of funny to throw in. Might be time to lower those prices a little bit. Just just a tad, though. <laughs> All right, so take a look at this clip that we have here. So we got a little bit of a fight. Looks like it's over. This guy wins, and they're both going to skate away, go to the box. But take a look here. I don't know if this guy didn't like how cocky he got, but he wanted to go again. Two fights at once? What is this? I've never, ever seen that. I mean, they went back at each other. Doesn't look like they're going to fight, though. Looks like they're just going to kind of eye each other up and grab each other a little bit. But, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I've never seen that before. Nice, odd little glitch. And looky here. We got another fighting clip here and another odd fighting glitch. Take a look at this. Just watch. Watch what happens. Boop. Look at that. What, what happened? Oh, wait. Hold on. We're not done. Or are we? I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on here, but this is just crazy. Oh, we're done. This guy's frozen. I really, I cannot provide any better commentary than what I just did because I, I was confused and all over the place on that clip. So that's about as the best you're going to get out of me for trying to explain what I just witnessed. I mean, I think it kind of explains itself. I really don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can put into words what I just saw, except that it was a little all over the place so in this next clip we're going to have a guy that well he's going to take a run at the goalie we've been seeing this a lot this year especially in failure friday take a look this guy's going to go full steam ahead at howard i believe that was howard but howard actually uh went down too there that was uh that was a little weird usually the goalie just like gets up and kind of launches the guy behind him but he actually fell down after that and then we have a fight maybe not this guy's skating away. He is not trying to have any part of that. Like, he made it clear that he did not want to fight. But, yeah, we a pretty interesting clip there. All right, so it might be early to say this, but I am pretty confident that this is the shootout goal for NHL 19. Take a look at this. The good old puck on a string. Oh, you have to love it. Wow, would I be furious 
if I was that goalie. I mean, I would be going nuts if that happened to me. I just, I don't know what happened, but that was just insane. That was crazy. But an awesome clip, and congrats on that goal. I'm not sure how you did it, how you pulled it off, but I don't know if there's a certain way to do that or if it just happened, but awesome clip. So take a look at this crazy goal that was scored. Watch this. Off the goalie and through the net. Is that what happened? Let's take another look. Let's look a little bit closer here. Look at that. It doesn't even look like it goes in the net. Look at that. Does it even cross the line? How did, how does that count? That is insane. Really odd goal. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how that occurred. But I don't think I've ever... like I don't think I've really seen any of these crazy things happen to me. Which I am happy about. And I hope it stays that way. But... Man, I would not like that to happen against me, that's for sure. So is it safe to say that this is the worst slap shot ever? I don't know what this guy's thinking, but it takes the worst slap shot ever. Like, what is this shot? Boy. I don't think he would have hit that if that was a soccer net. That was horrendous. But he might want to, you know, take some practice shots after the game. Definitely something that they might want to work on on the next uh, morning skate. So we got quite the uh, the spasms in this next clip from uh, from some players. Take a look at what happens here. So we got a face off, right? He's going to end up uh, winning this one. It's going to end up going back to the point guy. So now he's got it. He's going to take the shot. Goes off the goalie, it looked like. And then comes back over. He's going to try and take the shot. Goalie goes down after he tries to try... The puck into the net, and whoa, what did I just witness? What just happened? He did like a, like, I don't even know, like a, a backward somersault. But that was weird. That was really weird. I don't know what to say about that, but wow. That's that's about as much as I can provide for you guys. So take a look at this pretty, uh, pretty upsetting own goal here. So look, I take a slap shot, right? Goes off the goalie. He gets it, he goes to pass a teammate his foot off of the stick and in. That does suck, but are we going to ignore the fact that this guy just got drilled in the face blocking that shot? Oof, I mean, he was down. So how about this next clip for uh, quite a way to celebrate a, uh, a goal? Take a look at what we have here. So Thornton crashes the net. Runs into the goalie, scores the goal, drops his stick. No stick needed to celebrate. He's going to get excited. He's got it. Nice nice celebration there. No stick. Awesome. Well, it looks like it wouldn't be a Failure Friday episode without a helmet glitch. Take a look at this. Look at that. Whoa. He does not look very happy to have a strap going right through his cheek and out his chin. I don't think I'd be happy about that either, so I can't really blame him for uh, that facial expression. Alright guys, so I got one more clip for y'all before we wrap up this week's edition of Failure Friday. And this one is pretty painful. Take a look at this. Got a guy rushing up the ice. He's going to dive and try to get it from him, but instead ends up batting it right into his own net. Ugh! That is a tough own goal. That is a really tough one. Definitely would not be very happy about that. And that is something that would definitely happen to me. But it's like the one time you'd actually rather trip a guy up. And um, and yeah, man, that is a, that's a big, big bummer. But it happens. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this week's edition of Failure Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. And subscribe. And remember, if you guys have any clips for Failure Friday, make sure to submit them at NHLFailureFriday at gmail.com. And also, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I plan to be starting a new expansion franchise, simulation only, called Young Guns Franchise, where we will only have players. I'm still deciding the age, but it was recommended by a fan. Uh, he said 25 and under, but I'm thinking about doing 26. That way, once they hit exact is when we get rid of them. But let me know what you guys think. Um, 
So basically, we can only draft, trade, and sign guys that are 26 or 25 and younger. And once they hit 26 or 27, depending on the age we choose, we have to trade them or just simply resign them. Or not resign them, excuse me. But, uh, but if they do turn one of those ages, again, depending on what age we pick, 26 or 27, then, um, you know, if they turn one of those ages during the season, we can keep them, but we have to get rid of them at the end of the year. So, so yes. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. And thank you all for watching. Peace.